Hello everyone. Welcome to the shop. I found this little contraption in my room the other day. I figured I'd show it to you. Does anybody have any guesses as to what it is? Of course I'm going to have the title of my video of what it is, so I guess you already know what it is, but it's a Sterling engine. It's a tin can Sterling engine. I made it when I was in college. Year, uh, I guess about a year ago, two years ago, something like that. It's. Uh, I'm not really going to bother to explain how it works because if you go elsewhere, you'll find better explanations than what I can give you. But uh, basically, there's a displacer inside this volume, this chamber. See, it's closed off on the top. And uh, it's sort of like a piston, but it's a loose fit, and it has a, it's a it's a larger volume. It's not you know open in the back like a piston. And you have heat here, and either ice or just room temperature air over here. So you have a, pr uh, a temperature differential between these two sides. When the displacer is down here, the majority of the air inside here is on the cold side, so the air shrinks. When the displacer moves up, it displaces the majority of the air to the hot side so that air heats up from the heat source, which is will be my propane torch. So the air will heat up and expand. And the expanding air will expand this little uh, rubber diaphragm that I made from a, a glove thumb. And uh, once you spin it over, with your hand, it'll move a little bit and then the, when the displacer is on the bottom here, the air will shrink and it'll pull this down and it'll turn turn the crankshaft like so. So uh, I'll fire it up for you. I just, I just got it running a couple minutes ago the uh, diaphragm was broken, so I put a new one on. And uh, it's a pretty slow running engine because it's it's got a lot of friction, and uh, it's not it's not the best. I've seen tin can engines like this spin a lot faster than mine. But I just oiled everything up, so maybe that'll make it go a little better. We'll see. Gotta let it heat up for a minute first. I let it warm up with the displacer in the upward position so the majority of the air is on the hot side so, the, so it heats up quicker. Turn the heat up a little bit. And off she goes. Funny little engine, isn't it? If I turn up the heat on a propane torch, it should speed up a little bit. It's going a little bit faster. Turn it down, I'm burning the uh, oil in my table. And now, I'll take the torch away. The torch, gone. 
and see it's still running because it recycles the heat. It doesn't use the heat once and exhaust it like a gasoline or diesel. It's cycling that heat back and forth from the hot side to the cold side, so it's kind of recycling it. There you go. There's my little Sterling engine. This, uh, this is one of the little projects that kept me sane in college because I was pretty bored. I had a lot of homework, but I had a lot of free time too. <clears throat> so, there it is. Uh, if you want to build something like this, there's uh, plenty of websites online and I'm sure other videos on YouTube that will show you how to make this little engine. It's pretty simple. So, uh, that's it. I, I figured figured you guys would get a kick out of this little this little gadget. So uh, that's all for now. Come back for more.